Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing the demo to a game called The Scourge, a Vietnamese horror game where I'm going to be playing as a man overwhelmed by nightmares and delusions. If you want to be overwhelmed by nightmares and delusions, the links in the details are of course down below in the description as usual, alright? I hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like, leave your thoughts down below in the comments. This is the demo to The Scourge. Okay, what was that? One of my nightmares? It looks like this is me waking up. Alright, 3am? Yeah, let's turn that alarm off. Okay, alright, let's see, let's stand up. Okay, wow, good first impression. This is a pretty good looking game, isn't it? What's this? No need to answer it this time, but I can still take a look at it. Psychology group. Okay, the head of the department says, Lately, you don't seem to be doing well. I have a feeling that you haven't been studying well recently. I believe that something's happened. Let me know if I can help in any way. Hmm. Right. I'm not going to respond yet. Uh, should we leave that off? We should probably leave that off, shouldn't we? So tiring. <laughs> can, we, uh, can we open these? No? Hold on. There's a key here. A cabinet key. I always lock the cabinet, so I'm going to pick that, and I'm going to pick that up. Alright. Let's see then. Ah. Oh, is it for this? R to open the inventory, apparently. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, brilliant. There you go. Right, so what we got here? We got a pen. Alright. So I'm going to take that with me. This is a dream diary. Alright. Okay, so, yeah, let's let's see what's happened in my dreams. Murder. Strangely, last night, I dreamt of a woman hanging herself in that room, her tongue sticking out long, her eyes and nose bleeding, looking terrifying. I dreamt again of being chased by a man with a knife and having to run into a strange apartment in an old apartment complex. I tried hard to block the door, but the woman in that apartment calmly ate her meal. I screamed for help, and she stood up, her intestines protruding and falling out. She grabbed me, repeatedly asking, what is the truth? What is the truth? I don't understand. What truth? Last night, I had a dream. I don't know if it was a good dream or a nightmare. My father came home from work and gave me a beautiful gift box, but when I opened it, there was a piece of paper with something written on it that I couldn't read. My mother was serving dinner, calling everyone to eat, but the table was full of maggots. She handed me a spoonful of maggots and asked, Why didn't you come home? He's not sure if this is a good dream or a nightmare. That definitely sounds like a nightmare to me. Anyway, after many days of research, I decided to perform lucid dreaming and dreamt of some kind of ritual. My parents were also there. Everything was blurry. I wanted to understand more clearly. And last, puppets. I think I understand a little more now. The puppets. They are my family. But what do they want to convey? Hmm. Nice. Like these kind of puppets, I suppose? Right, oh, we've got some batteries as well? Everyone knows what this is used for. <sighs> Unfortunately, yes. Where is it? Where's the flashlight? <laughs> hmm. Alright. Make sure to check the notes on the whiteboard before going to bed. Okay, hold on. Let's see. I need to check around the house, apparently. So, one, after waking up, ensure all the clocks in the house are working and showing the same time. Two, write in the diary what I just dreamed. And number three, I must go back to bed before 15 minutes. Okay. So I've got to ensure all the clocks are working and showing the same time. Uh, okay. Well, we're on 3.03 now. Have we got another clock around here? Not that I can see. Let's see. Let's, uh, oh yeah, yeah, we can go out by the looks of it. Alright. Uh, 
and there's boxes in the way, so I guess we're not going that way or, or up there. Um, okay. Down here? Hmm. Yeah, it is quite dark. Oh, there's a clock there. Let's see. Okay, so we got the kitchen area here. I hate this sink. Obviously. You're not here often, are you? Not very hungry either. Okay. Hold on. There's a clock there. 304. Well, that's about right. Yeah, it's still working fine. I guess... I, I guess it's not usually working fine. Well, maybe this is how I tell that I'm not in a dream or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not very hungry. I'm so fed up. I think there's a sewing machine there. Yeah, it's quite dark. I've got the batteries, just not the flashlight. Let's see, this way? No, no, can't get that door open. Right, what about this clock? That looks about right, like three, four, three, five. Yeah, it's still working fine. Okay. The rat's wedding painting. Oh, okay, I think I've actually seen that before, yeah. Oh. Right. I might want that flashlight now. <laughs> I don't trust the power. Alright. Can't go through here. Crouch. I... Wow. It's like I knew what was going to happen. <laughs> I had some sort of premonition. Right, there's another clock over there. Let's get to that one. Alright. Oh, this clock stopped working. Let's see. Uh, there's... Oh, I need to replace the battery for the clock. Oh, so the batteries are for the clock, are they? Oh, good. Good. There you go. Perfect. Um, alright. I think you may have got the hands round the wrong way, but, uh, yeah. That's about right. 306, apparently. Brilliant. Okay, good stuff. Through here? Okay, the door was locked from the inside. Right, and through here? Not happening. Um, okay. Right, well, I don't know if I can really go anywhere else now. Definitely can't go through here, no. What is all this? What happened through there? I need to go and find a flashlight. <laughs> Even if that's not what the batteries are for, I, I want to find myself a flashlight or, or something so I can illuminate my surroundings. It's quite dark here. That's not another clock or anything, no, okay. Uh, so we might be done with point number one. So... Two was... I, I need to write in the diary what I just dreamed. That would be that cutscene at the very beginning, right? It seemed like I was digging a grave and then one of the puppets... He was not facing this way before, was he? Yeah, one of the puppets was dragged away. Right. Yeah? Yeah, that seems to work. Okay, so... Let's see. What's my last addition? Little sister. Right. My dear little sister appeared in my dream yesterday. I saw her wearing her favorite white dress, just like when she was little. She kept complaining about being trapped in the old apartment. What happened to her? Hmm. Alright. Well, that'll be number two. Let's see. So I've had a look at all the clocks. I've written in the diary. Is this where I go to bed? I mean, I did that in about seven minutes or so. Time to sleep? Time to sleep. Okay, why? Well, <laughs> sure. I just woke up, seven minutes awake, and now I'm going back to bed. Okay, space to sleep. Let's do it. Right. Seems pretty interesting so far. Okay. I guess I'm lucid dreaming. Yeah. Looks like there's something down there for me to pick up as well. An oil lamp. Right. A Wisdom brand oil lamp. Right. I'm going to pick that up. F? Yeah. There we go. All right. So, we can't go back? We, <laughs> we definitely can't go back. That's not a door. It's all bricked up. <laughs> exactly. This way? 
Right. Do not look back when someone calls your name. Do not run quickly. Do not stand in the dark room for too long. Always move forward. Right. Will do. These are the dream rules, I guess. Right. To be honest, I don't know what my name is, so if anyone's calling my name, I won't respond. <laughs> oh shit. Right. I probably shouldn't be doing this, but I'm going to. I'm breaking the rules. I'm not moving forward. Weird. Right. Okay, let's just move on and see what else we can see. Maybe this dream, this nightmare that I'm in is going to teach me something. Okay. Oop. Right. Is that meant to be my little sister? In that white dress that I mentioned? Hmm. Maybe. Through here? Well, no one's called my name yet, I don't think. Alright. Let's see. Do we... Whoa! Okay. Oh, hang on. The sign... I can actually read this. Uh, Master Nguyen Loi Dan. A foremost disciple of the Master Tran Dai Quang in southern Vietnam. Specializes in seeking blessings, removing negative energies, and resolving life's challenges. So let's mosey on in, shall we? Yeah, this is a very, very vivid dream, isn't it? Um, okay. Let's see. Something down here? Astral projection. Okay. I'm taking that with me. That might actually be handy. Hmm. Alright, doesn't seem like I can do anything with the altar here. Alright, I... Yeah, okay. Not so sure about going in now. Um, let's see. Around here? Uh, I don't want to disturb him praying. Or her, or whoever it might be. Let's see. Are we going to find anything here? Take rice? Is this really the time? <laughs> the rice is spoiled and there's no bowl. It seems this house has no rice. Okay. Hmm. Is that important? It might be important. This door is locked from the inside, so we're not going through there, unfortunately. Okay. Right, anything there? Oh, there is something down here, actually. Oh, okay. I need... Whoa, what the... Right. Was all that just a dream? Well, let's hope so. Right. What was all that? That was right. That was some sort of ritual, a bowl of blood and everything. I, okay, we're here again. Uh, obviously, that was a mistake. Obviously, I don't want to do that. Hmm. Okay. Maybe let's not go in there. Maybe let's go somewhere else. I wonder if that girl's going to be behind me again. Yeah, she is. But I'm not going to go back this time. I'm going to pretend that she's not there. Maybe that was also something that I fucked up. You know, acknowledging her. Alright. Mm-hmm. You can keep on giggling. I'm not turning around. I don't know. That might get me killed. But <laughs> the sign said keep moving forward, right? So I'm just going to keep on moving forward. We're not going to go in there. We're going to go this way. No, no. Don't open the door. A tailor shop? All right. Can we go in here? Oh, we can. Okay, right. Let's see then. All right. Got a sewing machine. Mother's sewing machine. It feels like someone's just sat here. Is the seat warm? Hmm. Why is that blowing in the wind? There is no wind. Surely. Maybe there's a little bit of a draft. I don't know. Around here? What the? Oh, hello. What are you doing back here? Weird. Right. 
No? More rice? Press R and find usable items. That is rice, I think. Rice is clearly important. Was that part of the ritual? I didn't get to read it all before I, I was killed, you know? Oh, that doesn't look right. And shaped like a person. The, the dirt seems to be looking at me. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I, I'll need to come back, I suppose, to get the rice. Let's see, then. Got anything over here? Uh, okay, there's a desk. There's books and things arranged neatly. None of which I can interact with, though. I can just take a look at it. Okay. Bed down there. What the fuck? Weird proportions you've got. I don't know what if I should go closer or not. Probably not, honestly. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go back here, I think, yeah. Right, hold on. Uh, I, I think I just saw some cockroaches coming out from underneath the bowl, but yep, I, I can pick this up. That maybe this is what I need for the rice. You're just gonna stand there, aren't you? Right. Anything else? Shit. Okay, I think I actually might need to go behind you to get to the rice. <laughs> Fucking hell! It was like she turned into a character from Little Nightmares or something with those proportions. <sighs> Fuck me. I didn't actually notice these stains before, but yeah, I like that one. They look like people. They look like they're, they're looking at me. They're watching me. Right. Okay. A porcelain bowl. Use it. Okay. Yeah, we are actually filling the bowl with rice. Even though the rice is delicious, I don't feel hungry. It, yeah, it, it's for this ritual. It's got to be, right? I need to go back in and have a look at it, I think. Right. Are we done here? I don't know. I think we might be. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure, though, honestly. Let's just get out of here. Okay, so we can't go straight across, obviously. Um, oh, it is actually it is a dead end, so I'm, I'm going to have to go in. I'm going to have to go in and, and just hope I don't get killed again. Right. Yeah, I quite like this so far. Alright. So that's back. Do I need that again? I might need that again. Just making sure that I didn't miss anything here. There's no... Yeah, there's nothing to interact with. Oh, oh hang on. I didn't notice these before. Oh. Oh, here we go. Right, hopefully I don't get killed looking at this one. Uh, as mentioned on the previous page, ghouls are wandering spirits that aren't worshipped, unable to find salvation. The worship method is somewhat similar to Ma Shou, or however you pronounce that. To prepare, you will need the items listed below. An altar table, an incense burner, aggregate incense, and rice in a small bowl. Right, training the ghouls to guard the household. When at home, replace the rice and light incense at a fixed time daily. When away, upon entering the house, offer fresh rice. Avoid misfortunes. And it was definitely a misfortune last time, wasn't it? Right, okay. So you're still there. You're a ghoul? So is this where I put the rice? Like, the fresh rice? Okay. Um, what about the, the incense? Do I... Hmm... Is it already taken care of? I don't know. Right. Since when did these guys appear? Oh! Okay. Is that where it lives? <laughs> okay, can I, can I take a proper look at this now? Right, this is for families wishing for a son. You need a bowl of dog blood. A spell with the cinnabar imprints. The person performing the ceremony must kneel and bow a number of times equal to their age in front of the statue of gods. Okay. Right. So what we got down here on the table? Seven toys used to offer gods in hopes of having a son. Okay, and what is this? I'm not exactly sure. Hmm. Okay. I'm not getting killed this time, so that's good. 
Dare I have a look? Oh, there's no one there. There's no one there. There is something, though. A bowl of blood. Is, is that dog's blood, by any chance? Huh. It might be. Right, I can't... I can't go through there. Let's see. Right, let's have a look at this. A bizarre altar. What's under that cloth, I wonder? Hmm. Unfortunately, I can't find out. Right, and who lives in here? Ghoul number two? Maybe it's a good thing that I can't lift that up and have a look, to be honest. Right. Something... Something needs to be placed here. Is it a bowl of blood? Yes, it is. What was that? I heard something creak. Right. Can't open that door. It sounded like a door opening, though, honestly. Oh, it was this one. It was this one here. Okay. Alright, here we go, here we go. What's that? A paintbrush. Used for calligraphy or drawing spells. I'm gonna take that with me. Anything else here? Are they all incense sticks? Wow. I think that's it, honestly. That looked really weird. What was that? Was that a head on a stick or something? Oh. I didn't really get a good look at it, but I knew there was something off about it. And now all of a sudden, this is turned on. Can I just turn it off? Right. I quite like this, you know? Yeah. So... Yeah. Uh, so, R for the inventory? Yeah. I... The only thing I can really think of is to maybe use it on this. Hmm. Oh, we can... Oh, hold on, hold on. It was possible to dip the pen to proceed to draw... Sp yep, okay, okay. We're gonna... We're gonna use the blood as paint. Yeah, okay. So, there it is. This time it's got blood on it. And is it this symbol? Right, I think I'm going to have to draw this. Or over it, anyway. Oh. Oh, shit. What? All right. Oh, he's bowing. He's bowing his age. Wait. Was he three years old? Okay. Now what? What do I do? What's the next step? Can I take this? No. Is this door going to work? No. Um... Hmm. Has anything changed back here? I don't think so. What about in here? Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, yeah. I probably shouldn't have done that, right? Nah, probably not. Are we just getting out of here? I don't know, I, I feel like I should get out of here. I feel like I've made a tremendous mistake. Okay. Is this still a dead end by any chance? It is? Okay, we can't go that way. I was wondering if there was going to be a, you know, a, a new route forward. Oh, hello. She's back. Don't know who it is. It might be my sister. Again, this feels like a tremendous mistake following her, but I... I don't know if I've got much of a choice. Uh-huh. Is she gonna lead me out of this dream? Out of this nightmare? Let's hope so. I've got to watch her go around every single corner. That's definitely my sister, right? What happened to her? Oh. How was that? Whoa! Whoa, 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 stop! I. 
I'm trying. I'm trying to get to her, but I can't. What the hell happened to her? And there you go. I'm awake again. Wow. Okay, well, get your dream diary. we got to note that down. And there you go. That, it seems, is where the demo comes to an end. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video. It would mean the world to me and it helps me out a great deal. Thank you in advance. So yeah, that was the demo to The Scourge. And I enjoyed that. Yeah, I enjoyed that quite a bit. I thought it looked good and it sounded good. I'm intrigued by the story. I want to know more about his dreams and if there's something that's causing them exactly. I think something happened with his sister, right? His little sister. And maybe it's got something to do with him digging a grave in that opening cinematic cutscene. I don't know. But I want to know. I want to play more. So yeah, I think I'll be coming back to this when it gets released. And according to this, I won't have to wait too long. Thanks for watching. See you next time. She handed me a spoonful of maggots and asked, Why didn't you come home? He's not sure if this is a good dream or a nightmare. That definitely sounds like a nightmare to me. I hate this sink. Obviously. You're not here often, are you? Crouch? I... Wow. It's like I knew what was going to happen. <laughs> I had some sort of premonition. It seemed like I was digging a grave and then one of the puppets... He was not facing this way before, was he? So, we can't go back? We, <laughs> we definitely can't go back. That's not a door. It's all bricked up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh shit. I need to- Oh, what the- We're not going to go in there. We're gonna go this way. No, no, don't open the door. The bed down there. What the fuck? Okay, I think I actually might need to go behind you to get to the rice. <laughs> Fucking hell. I think that's it, honestly. How was that? Whoa!